Welcome to the Simply Smart Business Show with me, Gemma Went. Now on this show, I like to share simple, smart strategies that have helped me to create the success I have in my business and helped my clients to create success in theirs. We cover mindset, strategy, and how to take inspired action to get you to the results that you crave. Now, if that sounds good, I would love you to subscribe and even better, leave me a review and let me know what you think about it. But for now, let's crack on with the show. Hi, Gemma Went here, business mentor and growth strategist. Now, I want to talk to you about three weeks holiday that I've just taken away from my business and just share some thoughts with you around that because for me it's a really big thing and I think it's similar for a lot of entrepreneurs. Not because we're all hustling and we can't take a holiday but because actually when you truly love what you do it's hard to turn your back on it. I know many of you will agree with my sentiment that, you know, my business is kind of like another baby of mine. Um, I love it with all my heart. I love the work that I do. I love working with my clients. I love serving. I love seeing the transformations and the results. I get a genuine high from doing that. So actually, when you take all of those things into account, it's no wonder it's quite hard to turn your back on that, even though it's turning your back on that with something that's really positive and supportive of you and your family and everything else. So let me backtrack a little bit. First of all, I um, I had planned from beginning of this year to take a month off at August. Uh, I'm really committed to spending more of the summer holidays with my son, who is seven and actually doing some some really fun stuff with him. Um, And for me, that's not just about going abroad and having big holidays. It's just hanging out with him. So some of that time can be at home. Some of that time can be away. Now, obviously, with everything that's happened this year in 2020, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to take that time. So it was still all a little bit up in the air before the summer hit us. Um, and then I decided actually, no, I want to spend that time with my son. And so I started to make plans for that, um, probably around June time. Um, I started to work out, you know, what I needed to bring to an end before then, what I was going to do with my clients while I was away, what team members I needed in place to be able to allow me to step away because I really wanted to have a clean break and not have to do work um, and not be pulled into the business to deal with problems. I wanted someone there that was going to be able to handle that. Now, that's not easy for me because I'm a little bit of a control freak. So it's hard as well as kind of having the genuine love for my business. It's hard for me to give it up because I'm a little bit of a control freak, recovering control freak, I would like to say. Um, And so I got all of those things in place and I didn't know how I was going to react. Um, So before I talk about that and my learnings from those three weeks, of which there are so many, um, I want to talk to what I did and the plans that I created. So the things that I had running throughout July um, was my consistency club, um, where I do a very powerful mentoring session every Monday to set them up for the week. Um, I also hold co-working times with them and I didn't want that to end so that they could continue. So it was quite difficult to think about, okay, how do I manage that? But I have some amazing coaches in my membership um, that coach in specific areas. And it hadn't even con- occurred to me, strangely, to use these guys while I was off. And it suddenly did. And I was like, hang on a minute. I can just get the guys to come in and take over the mentoring session on a Monday. And I can get somebody else who's good at running co-working sessions to run the co-working session on a Thursday, which is what I did. And it was surprisingly easy. People were not surprisingly, but just amazingly supportive um, in helping me with that. 
so I was able to actually step away um, and not think about it and know that my members are in safe hands. They're going to be looked after. They're going to be able to crack on and do what they need to do inside of the membership without me being around. Um, and that's not easy. I faced resistance with that. You know, I had some of those thoughts coming up of, oh, but what if I'm not there? They, they, they think they're paying for me and they're going to leave. And all of these kind of thoughts popped up. And I thought, you know what? I need to do this. I need to test this because if I'm to scale this business and do the things that I want to do with this business, I need to see that I can stay, step back sometimes. Um, and I'm going to need to be able to step back from more things to be able to do more of that. Um so it was a really good exercise. So that was the first thing I did with Consistency Club. Um, the other two things that I have running are my Leaders Lounge Mastermind and also my one-to-one -one clients. And I have a few one-to-one -one clients I'm working with at the moment. Now, I told these guys that I was taking three weeks off. I, well, I wasn't taking the full four weeks. I kind of slowed down a little bit the first week, but I was at home. And then the three weeks I was on a road trip with my son. So I told them I was taking the three weeks. They were great about it. However, it didn't sit well with me. I kept thinking, yeah, but you know what? They've paid for six months and I'm not going to be around for, six, uh, for three weeks. It didn't feel right. And so I listened to that and I leaned into that and I was like, okay, what is that? Is it a fear or is it genuinely my integrity saying, hang on, that doesn't sit right. Like, what do we need to do about this? And it wasn't fear at all. You know, the stuff that came out with Consistency Club was definitely fear. It was like, oh, well, I'm not there. What if they leave? And I was like, hang on, just let go. Just let go, step away, and we'll deal with that later. This wasn't that. It wasn't fear. It was definitely me thinking, hang on, you know, these guys are investing this money with me to work with me for six months. And then I haven't already said to them that I'm not going to be around for August. It didn't sit right. So I, I simply went back to each of them and said, hey, look, you know what? This isn't sitting right with me. So what I'm going to do is I am going to add those three weeks that I'm off to the end of your contract, at the end of the six months. So you're not missing anything. I feel like you're, you're getting what you've invested in with me. I feel really good that I'm still showing up for you and helping you. And they were really pleased. And most of them would like just came back and said, I wasn't even thinking that, but it wasn't about that. It was about how that felt for me and how I was showing up. You know, I'm absolutely committed to creating a world-class company that creates phenomenal client experiences. So for me, looking at that, I was like, hmm, does that fit actually with my, my guideline of creating this company, of creating these amazing experiences where people feel looked after and they are looked after? And it didn't. It was out of alignment. But I quickly solved it. It was like, okay, what does that look like? And I changed it quick. Notice how with a lot of these things, it's just like quick decisions, quick decisions. What's the problem? Feeling into it. Okay, what's the solution? Let's get it done. Move on. And this is something I also want to talk about in a minute around my learnings. So that's what I did with my clients cleared the decks. I got um, my team ready to deal with all of the client um, emails and messages and things like that. I had my team um, load up a load of content. So I was still sharing content out there and they were listening out for people that needed me. Now, so off I went and I was on a road trip around the UK with my son, which was amazing. Actually, I had so much fun. Did I completely step back and um, resist the urge to pop back in and speak to my clients and check in on things? No, absolutely not. And you know what? That's okay. Because what I realized was that I was feeling in the whole of my body and my energy that I'm missing it. I want to pop my head in. I want to see what's going on. And this wasn't instead of doing what I wanted to do. It was kind of like when my son was in bed and he was sleeping and I could pop my head in and read some stuff and see what was going on. And it felt, it felt really good. So was I able to completely step back? No, I'm okay with that. I don't need to. I know there's lots of people that are preaching that you must do this and you must have it. Do you know what? There is no must and there is no should. You do what's right for you. And I felt it. Like I leaned into it and I felt through all of my heart, my soul and my body and my mind. Now I want to be around. I want to kind of still take this stuff in. And what that did for me actually was, yes, it gave me the space 
that I really wanted to enjoy with my son and had so much fun. For me, it was all about bringing joy and fun into what we were doing together. And we had so much fun. We went to Glastonbury, which was magical for me, very spiritual being. Going to Glastonbury was phenomenal. I go to the festival every year when it runs. And we missed it this year. I had tickets uh, for June. But go, I've never actually been to Glastonbury Town and felt the magic and the, and, and the spirit of it. Um, so we went to Glastonbury. We did lots of different stuff there. You know, where we stayed, we stayed at a beautiful Airbnb on a farm. We were able to go to the beach. We were able to go to Glastonbury Town. I was able to go and play with crystals and different beautiful things that I was finding, touring around the beautiful sites of Glastonbury. We also went to Devon, went to the beach, we went to Longleat Safari Park so Jack could see lions and tigers and just hang out with animals. It was phenomenal. But that space also allowed me the inner space to just feel into what was next for me to create the space for my heart and my soul and my mind just to start throwing a few things around. And my God, it was phenomenal. Now, anyone that knows me well knows that any time I step away, any space that I create, I get loads of ideas. And this happens to a lot of us, right? But that just kept on happening. And I kept just allowing it. And I was letting it wash over me. I was writing every single idea down, but not getting attached to anything, not going, oh, I want to go and do that now. And I'm going to go and do that now. I was just letting it wash over me. And the way that I just surrendered to that with no need to control it, with no need to plan it or strategize it, with no need to do anything other than feel it, allowed me the space to play around with ideas and scribble out a few drawings and, and, really get my creative genius together and thinking about, okay, what is next? What do I want to do? And what it uncovered for me actually was becoming so aware of where I've held myself back and why. And I'm going to do a completely different video on this because I really want to go deeper into that because it was an amazing learning. Um, So I won't go into all of that now, but really understanding, hang on, I've really played small and hid and stepped back and not allowed myself to grow and expand and flourish in the ways that I know I can and I actually need to. And it's a yearning from my soul to do that, to serve at a higher level, to serve differently. But all of these ideas, all of these thoughts kept flooding through me so that by the time I'd got to the end of the holiday, honestly, I felt like a completely different person. I was completely in tune with me and my soul and who I am. I was regularly connecting with my spirit guides and using that to guide me as well. I had a whole journal and now Google Doc full of ideas about how I want to expand myself and expand the business and expand into this world-class company that I am creating and into the bigger results, the bigger transformations, the faster results and transformations that I want to be creating for my clients. Because the thing for me is we are now in worldwide recession. Things are tough, but I don't feel that. Like I don't feel that that's going to hold me back. I can just see opportunity. And so for me, a lot of the exercises was I was doing while I was away was leaning into the change like, where are we right now? What am I seeing? What am I hearing? What do my people need to flourish and elevate their businesses and themselves right now? And I've just completely lent into that. And so all of the ideas have been around that. All of the ideas have been around how I can improve, how I serve, how I show up, my client experiences, how quickly I can get them results because people don't have time to faff around now. And actually I have no time for people that want to faff around. There is no time for that. If people want to commit to creating a successful online business, I want them to commit and show up and do the work. And I'm going to take them on that journey and get them results as quickly as possible to create a sustainable, profitable business that's going to get through this and then flourish out the other side and create a legacy for them and their business. That's my commitment. That's what I'm doing with my clients. And I'm only accepting clients that can actually commit to doing that as well. And that's a lot of the stuff that came out of this three week holiday for me is like how I can do that. 
And I have so many, so many improvement plans for all of my different offerings. I have some new offerings that are coming out, new ways of working deeper um, at a completely different level with my clients. And I am so so excited to get going. So today I'm recording this. This is my first day back. Uh, the first thing that I'm doing is cracking on and doing my videos and podcasts so I can get my content out there so that I can get the new stuff, the new stuff that I'm feeling um, out there and really helping to inspire and educate my people in my audience to help them as well. All of this and also, you know, yesterday... I actually sat down with a spreadsheet for the first time. So I kind of I kind of stopped myself from actual planning because the thing is for me, you know, I'm a real creative, but I'm also a strategist. So when I come up with an idea, I want to then create the plan, get the thing going, understand how I can make it happen. And I resisted that because I'm like, no, 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 no. Let's wait until we're properly back. Let's just let these ideas and everything float past. And then we can percolate on them and then decide to strategize. Didn't quite make it till today because yesterday I actually mapped out my 2021 and how I get to seven figures and actually beyond seven figures and how easy that looks and what I need to do to make that happen. And it's all there for the taking. But I have been hiding and resisting that up until this point. And I think me stepping away allowed all of the things that had been holding me back just to catch up with me and for me to feel into it and to understand it more and to do an awful lot of inner work. I was doing a lot of inner work while I was away, the journaling, the meditation, the breath work, the the really connecting with my spirit guides and getting support and love and direction from them. All of that was from me being able to step back. Um, And like I said, it wasn't a complete step back. Like I wasn't being strict. I was still popping my head in and reading stuff and doing stuff because I love it. And I didn't want to force anything. I just wanted to do what I wanted to do. But it's just been an absolute eye opener. It's been absolutely amazing. It's made me realize um, how important this is, not just for the business, but for my connection with my son. Like us road tripping around the UK together for three weeks was amazing for our relationship and our bond. So it's made me realise I'm going to be doing this every August. My my business is going to be completely rearranged to take a month off every summer. Actually, next summer it might be July because I'm going somewhere amazing um, and taking my family with me. Um, So it may be July or August, but I'm always going to be taking that month off just to step back. But I'm going to allow some more time for me to be able to do that because when I'm in that zone... When I'm fully leaning into that energy, this is when the magic happens and this is when I can create the magic. And I think I've avoided that. I've just been head down, dealing with a load of shit, um, dealing with the stuff that's happened this year. And I've just been like forging forward without taking a breath to do this kind of work, which isn't even work to me. So it feels amazing. I feel really excited about what's coming next. I'm itching to share it with you but I can't not until it's ready to be shared which will be probably Q4 uh 2020 um as I move into 2021 with our big plans um to expand and do lots of incredibly exciting things um so I just wanted to share that with you like the importance of allowing yourself that time however you manage to do it even if it's just a day you don't always have to take the whole month like I want to but just the importance of doing that um just to yourself your energy your family to your business to everything um it makes a massive difference and now I'm just excited to get going with all of the phenomenal things I came up with and learnt. um so yeah exciting times ahead and I will be sharing all of that with you guys very very soon Thank you for listening to the show. If you liked that and you'd like more, please come on over and join my free Facebook group just by searching for Simply Smart Business in Facebook. You'll find it. Come on in. We have stuff like this every single day. But for now, I'll see you in the next episode.